Hey, what is going on you guys? What I have here today is my 2000 G3 Pro G185. It's a bass boat. It's powered by a Yamaha 150 V Max. What I'm gonna show you here in this video is how I organize my tackles, how I label them. So when I'm on the water, I don't go digging through things and I know where everything's at. So hopefully you guys could get some kind of ideas to help you out how to organize your bass boat or any boat you have. And enjoy, keep fishing and thanks for watching. Here's the front of the boat of how I'm gonna show you guys where I put my things and how I store them. We're gonna be starting here on this right box here. So all of my bait casters are in here. Put the sleeves in there so they don't get tangled up when I'm driving around. On this middle box right here, this is where I keep my tackles. I got them all labels. So I know where everything's at. You know, I got my deep diving crane baits, you know, my shack cranks, square bells, my jerk baits, top waters, underspin, uh, miscellaneous tackles, and my jigs. And then on this box up here, I got stuff like my hooks, extra hooks, you know, my my weight scale, um, some shaky hands, basically extra things that I need, extra extra reels that I think I might need here in the front. You know, I got my files. Got files those hooks, and then I also got my scissors up here somewhere. These brown boxes here have um, some of my uh, extra plastics that are in there, just in case I need it. This little container here, you know, got some extra lures in there as well. Things you might that I might need up here in the front. Got my ruler here. You know, when I'm fishing tournaments, I want to make sure I'm bringing in, you know, qualified fish. Move on to my left box. Right here is where I keep all my spinning combos. When the bike gets tough and you wanna pick up a spinning rod, this is where they will be. Got my safe face in here just in case, you know, during the winter when it gets cold, you want your face freezing when you're running down the water. I got some gloves in here just in case hands gets cold, you gotta keep your hands warm. Here are my lights. You know, when you get out there early in the morning and it's still dark, you gotta put these lights up. Got my pedals down here just in case, you know, something happens. So here at the back of the boat, these two bigger ones are extra storage. We're gonna start on this right one. Always gotta have toilet paper. You never know when you're gonna need it. I keep my oils in here, my two-stroke oil. Man, there's plenty of time where I need oil on the water and gotta have, you just gotta have to keep one in the boat if you're running a two-stroke. Um, Got some of my fuel treatment over there. Every time I fill up, gotta pour that fuel treatment in there to keep your, your motor running strong and healthy. Got some extra lines in here just in case I need to tie up somewhere. I've got a spare prop right here. That spare prop right there. You might run into shallow water where you bend your prop on the motor. Just pull it out, no problem. Swap it out with that new one. And you're good to go. This is where I keep all of my extra tackles just in case I need and then here are all my plastics that are tail warm keep flukes twin twelves, swimmers lizards crawls brush hogs so basically all my soft plastics are in here label I put them in um, one gallon bag to keep them in here I got some extra lines over there got my marker buoys so basically all this side here is extras and big bags of plastics that I'm gonna be needing when I'm on the water and extra hard baits here so Basically that's it. 